What's up, everybody? It's Chris D from PC Addicts. This video is going to be talking about WMIC, which stands for Windows Management Instrumentation Command Line. Um, it basically allows you to interact with uh, certain components of your system, and um, with that, I mean, there's some powerful stuff you can do with, with uh, batch scripts and everything, where you can run run some uh, some scripts amongst a whole network domain and um, pick up all the information you'd like as far as like BIOS settings and uh, basically whatever. What I wanted to just show you on this one, a real quick one, is um, for instance, I've done this a couple times recently. I wanted to figure out what the version of uh, the BIOS is in case it needs to be updated or whatever. So one quick way to do that is open up your command line, um, go ahead and type in there WMIC and then what we're going to do is go, just, just to start off, we're going to go uh, show you some switches. So you can do uh, switch question mark, and um, it shows you all your options here that you can run, uh, all the information you can get, I mean, drive stuff, anything. So what we're going to do is just, we want to concentrate with, concentrate on the BIOS section. So I'm going to go WMIC BIOS. Now this is going to not be formatted very nice, and I mean, you can see your data there and everything, but um, it's just not really pretty to look at. So what we're going to do is go w WMIC BIOS list uh, for slash format and let's just do that right there. Let's see what happens. Now you have a readable format and you can quickly tell uh, mark right here our version of firmware for this one does it show the motherboard model I'm not sure but there's another one for that I think it's like main board or something let's just see real quick baseboard that's what it is okay so we're gonna do is go WMIC baseboard uh, list and format and we can go and see right where's it at right here motherboard model number so then you can just quickly go to Google or something and or the manufacturer's site and see if there's any updates. Um, another cool thing you can do with this is the, the uh, you can output it to, to a text file, to a CSV, an XLS, or uh, Excel spreadsheet one. And uh, what we're gonna do is a web form. So let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna go WMIC, let's do it on the BIOS. List format colon hform space and then what I want to do is output it. Well, you, let's just run this and you'll see what happens. Okay, you get your standard HTML markup there. But we want to output that to a text file. So we'll do the greater than sign. Well, let's create a, let's create a folder real quick because we're just on the uh, desktop. So we're gonna do, let's make a directory called test folder. And uh, there it is there. So CD into that test folder. And then um, let's go ahead and open it up. And there's our directory in, in, in Windows Explorer. And we're gonna go ahead and create the file here by getting back to our command and outputting that to, let's just call it uh, bios.htm. Enter and you can see right here, that's our file. You double click it, open it up. Let me drag uh, our new Internet Explorer 9 window. And I don't know if you can see all that, but um, basically gives you all the information in a nice little form. Um, and that's about it. So, I mean, there's a, there's a ton of stuff you can do with this. You can actually just launch it and interact with it right here. Um, but I haven't really done this, so I'm going to exit out of that. And I mean, there's a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff you can do with this. So, have fun.